Here we're going to look at errors. There's two types of errors, a type one error and a type two error. We could also make a correct decision. If the null hypothesis is true, we can either reject it or uh, fail to reject it. Now, I don't personally like this language here. It's what we have to use, but I consider this not rejecting it is to me the same as accepting it, but we're not allowed to use that language, so we just say do not reject it. And if the null hypothesis is false, we could, we should be rejecting it. That would be correct. But if we do not reject it, we've made an error. So this, these are the uh, types of errors right here. And we're looking at question eight here. It's the last question. And on this particular one, we conduct a hypothesis tests, determine whether taking a driver's education course increases the likelihood of passing the driver's test on the first try. So they're right here writing down the null hypothesis. Uh, taking the education course does not increase the likelihood of passing on the first try. That means the alternative would be uh, the course does increase the likelihood right here. It does increase the likelihood of passing on the first try. Okay. The result of your test, so the test is the, it's just telling us the result, not, no details about the test, but the result is fail to reject H0. So we, we have failed to reject this, which basically means we've accepted it. Uh, but in fact, taking the course does increase the likelihood of passing on the first try. So we've made a mistake. So we basically accepted this, that it makes no difference, but in fact, it does make a difference. It does increase. So which type of error did we make? We failed to reject. Uh, so we did not reject H0, but uh, H0 is false. So we made a type 2 error in this question. Okay, here, this one we do, we are rejecting H0, okay. So this one, you conduct hypothesis tests, determine whether most people believe in UFOs. Uh, the uh, null hypothesis is most people believe in UFOs. And we rejected H0, so we're down here in the second row. So we rejected H0, uh, but in fact, most people do believe. Uh, most people do believe. So we rejected H0. So we did not think most people believe in UFOs, but in fact, most people do believe in UFOs. So we've made an error, and the error we've made because we rejected H0 is here in type one. Okay, I've regenerated this question many times. Here we go. You can select hypothesis test determine whether most people believe in UFOs. Given a null hypothesis of most people believe in UFOs, we failed to reject H0, so we did not reject H0. So we're up here in the first row. Uh, so basically we accepted that most people believe in UFOs. And in fact, most people do believe in UFOs. So this, this situation, we did not reject and well, that was correct. So we made a correct decision. All right, so similar question with UFOs. So given null hypothesis, most people believe in UFOs. We rejected H0, so we're down here. We rejected H0, uh, so we do not think most people believe in UFOs. And in fact, most people do not believe in UFOs. So we made a correct decision this time. So these error questions can be tricky. I hope this helped you out. Uh, just regenerate it. This question has a lot of randomness in it and it can go uh, correct or type one or type two, uh, both ways depending on whether or not you uh, reject or fail to reject H0.